What's up, YouTube? We are back again for another NBA 2K22 Next Gen video. Now, today, our focus is on creating a post score that is pretty much dominant on the defensive side, but also the interior, okay? We're going to be able to shoot the mid-range. We're going to be able to do hook shots. We're going to be able to do it all, but also, it's going to be kind of like a two-way, low-key, a two-way post score. This would be kind of interesting, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you do then please make sure to smash a like on the video and uh if you're new and you want to subscribe for more then go ahead and hit the subscribe button also ring that bell for your boy but we're gonna go ahead and get into this video and um this is a glitch build so i will leave all the stats like the height the weight and the wingspan down below in the description so if you want to check that out then uh go ahead it is down below waiting for you so we're gonna go ahead and get started so our position is going to of course be the center position we're going to go right-handed with this build and then the jersey number is completely up to you now the next thing is our body settings now that it's glitched we have a higher speed okay the fact that we're kind of glitched out we're going to have that higher speed we're going to stay at seven foot two but we will change our weight okay we're going to change our weight to 235 pounds i still wanted a little bit of strength but i wanted to make sure that we also got a 75 vertical okay that was important for me so when it comes to our wingspan we want to go ahead and max that out to an eight foot wingspan our body shape we're going to go ahead and choose built now it's time for the uh the real stuff right here okay that's the attributes when it comes to the attribute our close shot is going to be a 99 we are a post score so we're going to be a little cheesy in that aspect okay when it comes to the close shot we should not miss too many of those when it comes to our standing dunk we're going to go with a standing dunk of a 99 this isn't going to be a build that you're going to want to have the ball too much in your hands especially if you're trying to drive and all that because we're not really caring about the driving layup and the driving dunk we're assuming that we're already going to be in position or we're going to move our opponent with our back towards the basket and choose our spots on where we want to you know dominate in so either we're going to go all the way in the paint and dominate that way or we're going to settle with the post fade we're going to be able to do all of it so we might as well have that standing dunk at a 99 if we get around the rim it's over post control we're going to need that high so we're going to have an 88 post control this will allow us to get all the badges that we want and need and it'll also allow us to have more on our shooting and everything else that you're going to see throughout this video so our mid-range we're going to go to our shooting real quick the mid-range is going to be a 79 we're going to go ahead and max that out and then we're also going to put a free throw on this build so if you want to use this guy at you know the rack or whatever if you're trying to solo with the rack and you want a post score then this build will be for you okay so free throw 71 you can hit the free throw you can hit the mid-range you will be dominant on the inside now we have to go to our playmaking now the only thing that i chose to do with the playmaking was to of course have our pass accuracy to an 85 allowing us to have that bullet passer on gold that is the only thing that i really wanted to do now of course with 15 playmaking badges you can do a lot more than just bullet passers so of course this is where we'll go with our um our break starter maybe our our uh what's the badge called post playmaker we can we can mess around with some other badges that we'll easily have with 15 playmaking badges so we're gonna go with our um defensive side now so i really wanted for this to be i know this build is going to be slower because it is a post score but i didn't want that to really destroy our defense I, I really wanted to play good defense i know we're slower but um that shouldn't really bother us too much if we're in the paint guarding up all right so for our intim or not intimidator our interior defense we're gonna go with a 90 for our interior defense so when it comes to the paint we should have that locked down that's going to allow us of course that uh brick wall and everything so now when it's going to our block we're gonna go straight to our block the block is going to be a 98 so we're gonna get some really good uh hall of fame badges there 
and then our rebounding we're going to go ahead and max out the rebounding for both categories defensive and offensive rebound will be a 99 so yes we will be able to get boards we will be able to get blocked we will be able to shut down the paint we'll be able to make those outlet passes we'll be able to hit the mid-range for you know if we want to spot up we can hit the mid range if we want to take the post fade we can hit the mid range because that post fade is going to be hall of fame we can dominate on the inside so it's it's pretty much of a versatile build we won't be able to shoot the three but you know we really don't need the three for everything else that we're going to be doing so i'd rather be in the mid range or closer to the rim so we can get those offensive rebounds anyway so uh yeah i'm liking what we've seen so far so we're going to go ahead and finish this build out by deciding what we're going to do with our physicals and for our physicals of course this build is going to be slow but we're going to go with a speed of a 65 our acceleration will be a 61 our strength is going to be a 73 our vertical we got that magic 75 and then for our stamina we put in the rest on stamina and our stamina should max out to a 97 giving us 26 10 15 and 37 okay this is going to be a deadly build especially for the center position so we're going to go ahead and uh, continue now for the takeovers if you want to be a true post score of course you got the post score you got the glass and you got the rim you can mix and match however you want but in a post scoring sense i will probably go for post shot daggers first and then i would probably try to be a little cheesy and then do the power back downs because yes i didn't get the strength of our choice because of course i wouldn't want just a 73 strength i would want you know a high 90s when it comes to strength but i would have had to give up my shooting pretty much not some of my shooting all of my shooting and i didn't want to do that so power back downs is where we're going to go with on here and we're out of here all right so at the end of it all you see we have created a versatile paint beast but we're gonna go ahead and test this build out and actually see some of the badges that we can equip on this player build so of course i love having post scores I, i've always loved being a post scorer or being a center just in general so expect more post scoring videos coming soon maybe even in 2k23 I need to make a clay thompson build and i need to make a post score those are the two go-to's right but um we're gonna go ahead and get into our finishing so for our finishing of course we're going to want to do a lot of standing dunks so that fast twitch we're gonna keep that on goal real quick um we'll go with poster on goal we'll, we'll kind of do goal for now and then we'll make upgrades soon then we can go uh let's see I think we can we can fade a silver here grace under pressure this is actually low-key kind of a cheesy badge to have so we might want this on gold and then from here of course we can do our post hook if we really want it to be cheesy so um you can either have it on gold hall of fame whatever i know you guys have been grinding all year long so hopefully you guys have found a time to take a break but for you guys that are mad grinders out there of course you guys have extra badges so this badge can even be crazier with all those extra badges that you have so with the extra badges i would definitely look into maybe a postman technician i will probably look into a upgraded pro touch and then maybe try to hall of fame you know the poster and then maybe the fast twitch but other than that this build is going to get it done all right inside or in the mid-range area on defense this build is going to be crazy so we're going to go to the shooting for our fade ace we're going to go ahead and use most of our badges for fade ace then we can go hot zone here and then maybe we can even go uh lucky sevens on bronze depending on the game that you're playing okay so yes you could probably get away with gold if you want more of a um a lucky seven but it is completely up to you you don't need hot zone hunter but i feel that if you're going to be taking fades you might as well use hot zone hunter it, it'll help so we can go here and then of course use your fade i know 
our mid range is only what a 79 but i feel that we can get it done especially with our close shot being kind of high and everything else so post hooks fades we're going to be on those okay we're going to be on those but we're going to go ahead and choose our playmaking badges real quick bullet passer very important for me i feel that we can probably get away with a break starter on hall of fame and then post playmaker on gold and then our last one will probably be like needle threader and that would be the playmaking badge that i would go for you could do the special delivery but i really don't need all that right now so we're gonna go with you know you probably wouldn't change this badge at all if you're playing threes or if you're playing rack then you'll definitely need these badges or this badge right here on hall of fame and then of course the gold bullet passer is always nice and the gold bullet i love um mixing the gold bullet passer and the post playmaker like those two are probably my favorite combination for these post scores so yeah that's this is you know a little tip out there but we're gonna go with our defensive badges the one category where we get the most badges in so here we go we're gonna go with a box of course because yes we're lacking on the strength but i feel that we can still be very dominant bigs when it comes to clearing those rebounds okay so we're gonna go with that we're gonna go with intimidator that's gonna help us out greatly rebound chaser yes worm yes um chase down artist well we'll go rim protector first chase down artist i feel that since we have so many extra badges we definitely can but i'll probably just do silver honestly for right now let me look at what else we have here um i would probably go with a huh let's see allows defenders to play defense more aggressively without losing energy at the same rate as normal players i feel that this would be i know it's a cheesy badge i usually like to have this on lockdowns but i can i can see us rocking with this maybe here and then i can see us probably rocking We'll probably use a silver here and then if you want to set screens because we can you could have it you can um finish it with a silver brick wall but if you don't then you can definitely use these last few badges on pogo you could do this or you can you could probably get away with maybe even uh i'll probably keep rim protector on hall of fame just so we can get those extra blocks but maybe a worm we could probably go with gold worm here and then really just go for gold pogo and then we'll have one more badge we can probably put on i probably i'll probably end up putting this back on brick wall yeah we'll we'll, we'll do that all right we'll do that gold worm we can get in there we can get it done we can get the boards this way we have a little bit of brick wall we're probably not going to need it too much but we'll we'll still have the badge post lockdown you know if we're going against other bigs you know seven threes or whatever you'll be able to hold it down if you really wanted to do more then of course you'll have to you know go down maybe a tireless defender here and then we can do that you know what i'm saying there's so many that so many ways and so many things that you could do with this badge setup like it, it's actually crazy but i wouldn't be mad at you if you use these badges either or but y'all let me know how y'all feel about the bill and also the badges down below i would really like to hear from you guys about the bill and the badges so you know let me know something but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did then please make sure to leave a like on the video on my other channels i do have a gaming channel where we're just playing a whole bunch of stuff it's more of a variety gaming channel and i i'm also dropping videos on my irl slash vlog channel so if you want to stay up to date with me then those channel links will be down below in the description as well as everything else you need to create this build but thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next one